We are in Microsoft Word 2016. I'm going to show you how to add multiple columns to a document. And this helps if you want to have a book type layout in your document. So it looks just like uh, some formats of books or flyers, various different things like that. So let's take a look first at the Layout tab at the top. And from here, we're going to go ahead and type the word column. And we're going to switch from one column to two. Now, by default, it's going to be set to one column, as you see here. As I switch to column two, look at the center of the ruler here and watch what happens. So what it's done is it's created this no man's land where nothing's going to be typed. And it allows us to have a second column off to the right. So if we tab now, we can see it only tabs to the middle of the page until we get to the bottom of the page. And then it starts at the top of the next page. And here we are back at the top of the page. So we'll put in column two. Now let's take a look and see what this looks like in an actual document that we've already filled in. This is a college uh, document from years ago. So we can see that it's got many pages of different words and things like that. So let's go ahead and switch from one column to two. And now we see it automatically formatted everything. When it got to the end of the page on the left side, it then went to the top right side of the page. So let's scroll down and take a look and see how our format looks as we go down the page. And it even took the table that you see here and it pushed it off to the left side and continued on until it got back to the top of the page and then continued on with the documentation. So if we switch back to one column, you can see that the table takes up a lot more space as we see here. So let's go and change to three columns. And you can see the, the table here goes even smaller, although you can certainly stretch it out if you need to. You can make it go taller like that. And you can see that we now have three different columns. Now, one of the things you got to watch for is that sometimes these tables end up bleeding off to the left-hand side, and you'll need to shrink them in order to get them to fit properly. So in some cases, these tables may not exactly work for you in too many column options. Now, if we click on the down arrow on columns and go to More Columns, you can see we can make other changes, such as the 1, 2, 3, the left or the right side. So if we change it to right side, and then let's change it to 2. You can see when we change to two columns that the majority of the document is on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side you can put notes and things like that. So you may not necessarily want to have the body of the document in the right-hand side but you may want to just put links to other locations, maybe some photographs, things like that. Now if we switch to the left side, we see the opposite happens. We see that the right side has the majority of the data and the left side has the information that you may want to put that just supports the document but isn't actually part of the document. If we go back to our columns, more columns, then you can see a preview of what's about to happen. So if we click on right, we click on left, or we just click on two, then we can see that it all comes out even. You can also change the width and spacing if you want as well. So if we uh, move that up, say, to four, and then click OK, we can see changes there as well. Let's go back in to more choices. You can also apply to just this section this point forward and leave anything that happens before that the way it is or apply it to the whole document. So when I choose the whole document you can see the preview now changed where it's, it shows two columns all the way through the document. Let's go back to column one more time and show one additional feature and that is if you click on the line between and click OK then we can see a line that separates the two columns. And that can help uh, the reader determine which side of the page they should be reading as they scan down through the page. So that is adding multiple columns in Microsoft Word 2016.